it was my father-in-law's 60th um and just you know what do you get the man who's got everything kind of thing and just suddenly dawned on me thinking well I'd definitely get some brownie points um for a present like that you kind of forget that there was once upon a time someone who was my age and younger who actually used to do a lot more things than just being a granny so you weren't allowed to talk in the dormitory and we were always talking in the dormitories we used to have such fun at night because we used to have midnight feasts in those days I was in Alfred House, which was the oldest house. So we'd go at midnight and we'd, um, the roofs were like that. And we could get to other dormitories. And one night the phone rang and we heard the secretary go to her office. And there were about four of us on top of the roof. And we completely froze. And we thought, oh, she hears us up here. But we weren't discovered, so we were right. And she's had, you know, a really, really varied life. Granny can barely walk down the high street now. So the idea of her cycling, you know, however many miles it was with her friend, probably without a helmet, without a sat-nav and all that, is absolutely crazy. Liz and I used to go off cycling and one year we did 800 miles. We did Scotland. We went to Holland because we thought it would all be flat. <laughs> so, oh, Holland's a good place. We'll go cycling in Holland. There were four of us did that. And we went to North Wales. But you'll see us lying by the roadside and washing up out of timber. We didn't have any luggage. We didn't have anything to change into. Those were as happy a holidays as anything. And, you know, that, that's part of the benefit of doing something like this. Uh, you find out a lot that you didn't know. It's, it's that the thing almost you, you never realised you needed, but you're really, really bloody glad that you've got it. It's another cliche. It's priceless. Um, you know, obviously, you can put a cost on it, but, you know, it will be cherished forever. Um, and something that, you know, even when Granny isn't here, I'm sure we'll all enjoy for future generations.